Hey everyone, Jordan here. Today my brother Nick and I enter a world full of unique dragons. Ranging from tiny and cute, all the way up to massive and monstrous. Will we be able to survive, tame, and then thrive with the beasts? Without further ado, welcome to Worm Roost. Jordan, it is day one, and we need to find ourselves some dragons to tame. But first, I think there's a pirate ship over there, so uh, let's go take it down. Yo! -ho. Hey, hey, Jordan, those pirates are pillagers, and I think they have fire crossbows. So uh, let's go in the opposite direction. Oh, Jordan, I just had an idea. We should punch trees and then mine a little bit. For what purpose? This is Minecraft. What? <laughs> Why'd the tree catch on fire when I punched it down? I'm so strong, Jordan. Wait a minute. Wait, yours caught on fire too. Nicholas. Are we the dragons? It, I don't get this. This one didn't catch on fire. This one didn't catch on fire either. <laughs> Did, uh. Ooh, where's my crafting table? There are so many mushrooms here, Jordan. Wait. Those aren't red mushrooms. Those are flowers. So no soup for us. Oh wait, no, there are red mushrooms. Only a couple though. Souped up with soup. I keep mining while Nick ventures forward into the world of worm roost. Oh, I think I found a mega taiga. Whoa, that's only slightly smaller than a giga taiga. Ooh, iron. Have you found iron yet? Yeah, yeah I have eight cooking. I also found platinum. Ooh, that's worm roost specific. It makes dragon armor, Jordan. Oh. Platinum. Platinum. Sing it with me. No. Platinum. <laughs> it's not going in the video. What? That was peak content, Jordan. Can I eat this pumpkin raw or do I have to cook it? Dude, the first animals I'm seeing some deer, which I'm gonna try taking down, but do they fight back? No, they don't. But let's get some sweet, sweet venison. You know it's from Venice? Are you asking if I know that it's from Venice? Yeah. No, I didn't know that, Nick. Hey, Jordan, I actually pranked you. It's not from that place. That really? I said it was. How could you have misled me so, you scoundrel? <laughs> Easily. Wow. This bird's got swag. I found a panda. And chickens. So many chickens. Give me an egg. While waiting for eggs, we cook up our iron, consolidate our loot, and I ruin everything. Oh! Are you kidding me? Did you blow up our stuff as well? I found the plains. Oh, plains is where we can start finding dragons for sure. Oh, our first dragons. These are not ones I think we want to try taming yet because they are giga strong. Those are overworld drakes there, which they're very strong. And the way you tame them, because you tame every single dragon differently is uh, unfortunately by riding on its back over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and over again until it doesn't want to kill you. Also, you need a saddle apparently. Yeah, that too. <laughs> Can't ride a dragon without a saddle? Jordan, I found, not sheep, but I found wool. <gasps> oh, join the baby dragons. <gasps> Don't these eat eggs? I believe these are called roost stalkers. Yeah, <gasps> Jordan, I tamed them with a single egg. That's incredible. Bro, we have our first dragon. Do you want to name him Larry? This is roost stalker Larry. I love naming things. Hey, there's a bunch of roost stalkers around here, actually. I know that they're not super rare and they're also not super dangerous. They will pillage and steal your things, I believe, though. Speaking of pillagers, speaking of pillagers, Jordan, run, please. But also get woo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not about to let Larry die. Oh, sheep. Jordan, I found normal sheep. Maybe we don't have to fight the pillagers yet. Let's go, dude. I want to build our home like around the ravine and this tree because it's a nice tree. So we need to build ourselves a home and then we build each of our dragons a home. Wait, they're not eating our stuff, are they? Dude, they're taking our stuff! Out of the furnaces? He took my iron! What do I do? Give it back. <laughs> I don't want to kill them. I don't know what to tell you. I think you just got to deal with it. This is a temporary home. It's very stylized though. Yeah. Oh, eggs. Wow, I did not expect to find them here, Jordan. I found three chicken eggs in a nest. Dude, these things kill chickens. I'm gonna go make a partition for our chicken pit that they could not get into. Even when they've been tamed? Uncertain. Hey dude, I think I can just push him out. He fell asleep on my chest. Nick, I have to keep him. I love him. Look how cute he is. How can we, we can't kick him out now. He is very cute. He's dreaming of something nuts though, dude. I think he's dreaming of a concert right now. <laughs> Where is it? Can you cook it? Oh wait, did it get stolen and eaten? It's in this dude's mouth right now. Hey, how could you let this happen? Yes, he has all of it in his mouth. Give me the money. 
Give me the mutton. Fire dungeons, fire dungeons, fire dungeons. Nick collects significant loot from the tower near our home before returning to our puppy proof, I mean roof stalker proofed home. It looks like you're making toilet stalls, Jordan. Hey, Jordan, I have a better idea. Barrel tree, barrel tree. How did you get so good at this game? <laughs> <laughs> I see you made armor for yourself. Yeah, I die more. You're better at the game. I'm going to give my sword to my guy. Yeah. That does increase his attack damage, by the way. I want you to know. Also, did he place the bones here? How long were the bones here? I don't, I don't feel like the bones had been here long. Hmm. See, I don't think they have either. It does concern me. I'm uncertain. I didn't put I'm them concerned. There. Yep. I found a moose. That might as well be a dragon right there. This is a big moose. I'm going to name you Moose. I won't forget that way. Imagine forgetting your own child's name. Oh, new dragon, Jordan, new dragon. Hello there, dragon. This is the glider. Oh, the silver glider? It's gliding right over to you, actually. The one that kind of looks like a pelican? Yeah. Not a pelican, a seagull. How do we tame it? Pretty easy, actually. They can be tamed with any type of meat. What? Then, dude, we can use them essentially not like a litra, but like a parachute. Meat. I don't know where it went. The next morning, we seek not epic gliders, but the even more valuable uh, uh, chickens. Nick saw a flock of chickens near where he saw the glider, so he simply returned to that area. Yep, I found him. Wow. <laughs> now he begins the painstaking and dumb trek back home with our new feathery food. Friends, feathery friends. If anything happens to these chickens, though, I'm going to ride. I don't think I'm far from home because I think that's the pillager stuff over there. Like the great explorers before our time, Nick and the chickens traverse the harsh terrain wrought with enemies. Oh wow, they swim so slowly, dude. <laughs> it's because they're trying to like fly. Oh, that's really funny though. And I'm here to defend their journey. It doesn't have to be three thick. It can be one. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. They pushed each other off. Maybe it, um. Come on. They're dumb. Why are they so dumb? <laughs> This has been very fun and not annoying. Wait, whoa, 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 what is that badger doing? It's attacking that chicken, block it. Inside this dirt mound is a roost stalker, by the way, but I didn't want to kill him, so I just put him in a shed. That's a good play, Drew. Come on, come on. That was so painful. That was, wow, dude. Hey, dude, I finally got a guy out of our house. <laughs> We saved it, Nick. We did it. Okay, nice. Well, let's go to sleep, Jordan, and then we will find this dungeon and hopefully get a saddle. Dude, that was intense. After a well-deserved rest, we take off in search of a dungeon in the morning. Nick found this map whilst looting that tower. This way. We might want to go underground here, Jordan, so we don't die. Villagers, no. Be gone. I don't have a block. Okay, I'm digging towards where it should be, Jordan. We're right over the axe right now. I'm digging straight down. You can't stop me. Oh, hey, you found oh, it. Wow, uh, this is not what I expected. This is a big dungeon, Jordan. Dude, I got a bow with infinity. Oh, poison fire. Jordan, I'm gonna die here. I found a backpack and a saddle, dude. Let's go. That's exactly what we were going for. That went really well, dude. I assumed it would be just a little dungeon. Yeah, I did too. But instead, we got two saddles from this, some more name tags, and I got a backpack. And an infinity bow. Not too bad. The next morning, we drop off loot before prepping to build our real home base. So help me get wooden food, okay? Okay. Not wooden food. Wood and food. Oh, that changes everything. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. I was about to begin carving you an apple. Instead of doing that, I begin prepping our world's infinite infrastructure and even started a farm if only we had a carrot to make going carrots we could probably go find one in that uh, pillager outpost if we actually feel like contesting it now so that's the plan we knock out various chores until nightfall then we go to battle at dawn brother see si, you take this oh thank you porfa. okay now it is time jordan that we show them who's boss there are so many signs farm Pillager outpost. Okay, I'm glad, Jordan. Okay, Jordan, we're fighting, okay? Okay, this, the, there are so many pillagers. Are there spawners? Because that's the thing. We don't want to just fight them over and over again if there are spawners, you know? Okay, are there spawners, Jordan? That's what we must know. Not that I'm seeing. I found a chest. Hey, I found five carrots, dude, already. Okay, that's good, no, Jordan. Help me fight. On my way, buddy. If there aren't spawners, we just need to take them all down and then we're good to go, okay? How many crossbows do they have? It appears that they have a billion. Here, I'll kill the ones trying to kill you and you kill the ones trying to kill me and then no one will be able to actually kill us. Look how many arrows are in us. It's a battle of attrition, Jordan. Overall, Drake's right here. They're also going to be angry at us, so we Wait. have to be very careful. Uh, oh, it gave me slowness. Uh-oh. Oh, overall, Drake's! Overall, Drake's! Careful, buddy! My gold chest plate's almost gone, probably. Actually, all of my armor's already kind of nearly gone. That's insane. Oh, now I got a boar on me? A boar of all things? <sighs> I hate the boars! <laughs> Don't bore me. <laughs> Ooh, better armor. Let's go. Not too shabby. Being a 
of arthropods, three sword. Let's go. This entire segment was just, ow, 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 ow. Overworld Drake. Overworld Drake is attacking me, Jordan. And now there's a boar chasing after me as well. Can you, don't you? This is absurd. Jordan, that's what we should do. We should tame it and then use it to destroy the entire village. Here, catch. Oh, I'm the one who gets to die. No, you're better at it. You know what they say, Nick? When you grab life by the horns, sometimes you find a bull. I'm not healing. Okay, uh, I put the saddle on it. Oh, it launched me off. Okay, it's yelling. It's angry. Ooh, it's wait, launched me I'll off. I'll try to reason with it. Hey, buddy, listen, if we, if- Wait, oh! that worked? I remember when we've done this in the past, it's taken like a full day. Nick, I think I'm a master negotiator. I called him, hey, buddy, and he went, buddy? <laughs> Can we name him buddy? Dude. Dude, we have to name him Buddy, man. We've got an overworld trick named Buddy. Okay, well, time to start smacking people, Jordan. Well, Jordan, we tamed our second dragon. <laughs> well, let's go loot the town. I think we took down all of the pillagers. I'm gonna ride over on Buddy. Do it, man. I just fell into the ravine with him and nearly killed him. Uh, there's no grass out there. How do I get him up, Jordan? What do you mean? I fell into the ravine with him. How do I get him back up? Do we actually have to mine him out? Can you put him on your shoulder? Yeah, I don't feel like I can. I don't even think he can jump, dude. Wait, can't he just teleport to me if I go far enough away? Yeah, dude, I forgot about whoa, that. Whoa. Oh, that works? Yeah, they ah. just teleport if you go far enough away. Okay, well, crisis averted then. Well, I'm gonna finish the staircase for posterity's sake. Okay, well... He's full HP and we're gonna we're gonna run Jordan back to the pillagers village and pillage it. Yeah, dude, the overworld Drake will fight with me, by the way, when I'm not even on him. I don't want the two overworld Drakes over here to fight though. That would be bad. I, Nick! Did you first try it? I first tried it! Well, what's his name? I'm gonna name you Rascal. With three dragons tamed, Nick crafts an anvil so we can officially name them with name tags. There's another wormer specific way to control and name the dragons, but we forget about that until near day 100 because that's that's how we roll. Can I name Rascal for you? I can, okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice, dude, that's awesome. Wow, dude, we're kind of killing it, man. Yeah, except that we definitely build ourselves a better home, and then we need to build them nice dens. Are they brothers? Normally, they look a little bit different. Like, we saw one with blue eyes before. These are almost the exact same. Yeah, they gotta be bros, dude, because they weren't even fighting with each other, really, you know? In order to make a better home, we have to tear down a lot of what we built. Our upcoming base is going to be stunning once complete, though. Oh, I think this is the last pillager, Jordan. I found the last wow. pillager. Oh, wait, no, there are two of them. So let me, no, there are three of them. No, there are five of them. <laughs> Could use cherry blossom wood as well. I like the one random, <laughs> the door frame we've kind of got up. <laughs> we have a parameter, we don't have a home. Well, we kind of have a front door. Oh, sweet. I need bushes. What kind of bushes? Let's do cherry blossom and not cherry blossom. Okay, this is going to look, are you okay with the home looking stupid? You know me. Yes, you are okay with it, okay. I need logs. I think if I add a log on top of this and then do leaves inside. Oh yeah, no, this is going to, okay. I've got the vision of it now. Did you make a path the entire way through the forest, by the way? Yes, sir. That was you, it's not a village. Does it, does it end? It ends in the uh, forest. <laughs> Bambi. <gasps> oh, there's a, whoa, there's a creeper in our base, Nick. In our base? I just opened the door and it's following me. Oh, well, okay, I was gonna shoot it. How did it get in there? We need to light it up. We need lanterns. Can you, can you work on making some lanterns? Why did you strip one bark? I was holding an ax out when right clicking the chest and I missed. That's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. See, you started a quarry. <laughs> It's a slight mix up. What's its name? The pit. The pit. Is that actually? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what I actually I made see. Them. I see the sign. I need to see how far your path goes. <laughs> it was pretty far. It was pretty fun. Paths are really nice. It really builds the uh, world. 
Hey, I've got a gift for you. Yay! You're welcome. I've always wanted a mostly broken axe. I think it's got five more uses on it. You're welcome. Um, Nick? Yeah? Giant zombie. What? Okay! I'm gonna mount up and go take this bad boy down. Let's go, buddy. Let's go, rascal. Where, where'd the zombie go? What? Okay, good, goodbye, giant zombie. Yeah, you, you better run. That's what I thought. <laughs> you, 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 you. Hey, you, you can probably stop getting leaves, by the way, because I think I have enough right now, because it was a lot. Oh, you weren't getting leaves in these, for goodness sakes, I just saw where you were. Okay, this actually looks kind of beautiful. I think I'm gonna leave it there. Let's see how it looks from the inside. Oh, I gotta do another layer, but that looks kind of amazing. That looks so cool. I don't know how I made that look so cool. <laughs> I'm proud of you, man. Well, I should say, I know what I did. I don't know how that ended up making it look so cool. So from the outside, it's a weird, kind of ugly looking home. Ooh, yeah, I totally need some slabs. But the inside, dude, it still needs to get fixed. But like, it's kind of magical looking. Jordan, are you ready to take a look at it? Okay, so first take a look from the outside. And it's kind of, it needs something more. We have, we have work to do. We have work to do. Yeah, but then, yeah. Jordan, take a look inside. Oh, yeah. What? How does that look dude, so good? Dude, it looks like where you would find a legendary Pokemon. It totally does. And then the petals are falling down. Oh, it's actually. Yeah. Wow. This is what I'm talking about. Dude, you did a lovely job on this. I don't even know how that turned out the way it did. I'll be completely honest. <laughs> yeah, no, I really like it. This is one of my favorite builds you've ever done. Truly. I mean that. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, man. There's a bunch of wool at the Pillager Village. We'll have to check. It might look horrible. Let's go grab a little bit though. Yeah, just uh, like a sample. We're grabbing like a paint sample, you know? <laughs> I'm just sitting here on top of the house. Just <laughs> Wait, I think there was wool in chests. Dude, there's white wool in the chest as well and we can grab that for the different color because we're going to want two different colors. I think it's interesting. What's your opinion? Yeah, it's neat. It's really unexpected. I like how we're really pillaging the pillage village now. Yeah, we really took all that to art. <laughs> we will steal your homes. It's pretty messed up, man. As night falls on day 16, our home is almost complete. We just need to organize our storage. Then tomorrow we'll tackle the outside style of the home. Well, our base, Jordan, I'd say for now is complete. With our beautiful home base constructed, it's time to knock out a few essential tasks before moving on to a new mission. I think our house is officially done now, Jordan. Dude, which is really sick. exciting. It is day 18. Took me eight days. And while Nick was making this masterpiece, I made paths everywhere, dude. I've got a nice mine going, dude, which breaks into a cave. We've got a home, a humble abode that looks really good. And we're set, man, to set up our dragons. Do you want to finally tame this Roostalker? here that has coal in its mouth, by the way. He stole my coal. <laughs> now get it back, Jordan. Uh, th don't take that axe out. Yeah. I like that you're feeding him to try to get stuff back. Cool. There you go. Wow, you should. Alrighty. Okay, what is his name, Jordan? Uh, Maurice. Maurice. <laughs> so, Jordan, tomorrow we are going to be venturing out to get a new dragon. The one that we probably want most is the dragon fruit drake, which would be in a jungle, which would be pretty fun and potentially sort of easy to capture. You know what? Let's go for it. Let's get some apples and find a jungle. Good night. Okay, well, I'm going to start working. Oh, wait. I can You can pick apples off the tree what you can just right click apples off the tree this is how it should be in minecraft though this is too nice because normally getting apples is such a pain but this is actually just hyper pleasant it feels like i'm in an apple orchard i'm back in elementary school just at the apple orchard crying and picking apples just like the good old days oh 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 whoa 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 jordan jungle oh, yo <laughs> yo ho lando Woo! break the boat oh now it's my boat now you're okay, stunned. I mean, you can sail away if you if you Nicholas, want. I can make another give one. Give me, give me a billion dollars, and I'll give you your boat back. All right, you guys can have the boat chickens. It's his boat now. We create pirate chickens. I don't recall these things being hyper rare. I do recall. I recall the babies being hyper rare. The babies were difficult to 
find. The big ones, I want to say they're nocturnal, so they won't be awake if we find them now, but they are overtly hostile towards people. It feels like I'm hunting for a Pokemon again. It does, dude, right? Where's Mew? Oh, we could burn down the forest technically, but- Oh, I found one! I found one! I found one! Yeah, I found one! Okay, okay, It's are they not awake? a baby. It's not a baby. It's only the babies that we can tame, right? Hello there, dragon fruit dragon. Wait, How are you doing? You asleep? Ah! Are you sh- Oh, careful. Wait, he's chill. Wait, or is Wait, that a baby? Is that a baby? No, no it's, it's not. not. A baby. It's trying to it kill me. And I cannot baby. feed it apple. It wants to eat me, not the apple. It wants to eat me, not the apple. I would suggest, Nick, that we do our default strategy of burning down the jungle, but I don't want to accidentally take out a baby because I don't know how much health they would have. Let's wait until we're way too frustrated. If we end up getting super frustrated, then, you know, it can also work to keep us from getting frustrated. Let your rage run wild. Oh, Jordan! Dragon fruit dragons everywhere. They're scarier than I remember. I'm pretty sure as cool as they are, aren't they just a glorified lawn mower? Yep. Alternatively, you can shear them for apples. Is it only when they're tamed? I have no idea. It's at least when they're tamed. We're gonna go yoink some apples while they're resting. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of weird to take apples off their back, especially when they're dragon fruit dragons, and then feed it to a baby. <laughs> Well, that's probably, I mean, that's probably how it works. Oh, Jordan, there are four of them here. Right. Apples do come off. Apples do come off. There are five of them here. <laughs> Give me your apples. <laughs> what I love, man, is that it's not like we did that and then they got angry. It's that they were angry, so we're trolling. <laughs> what if we tame a goose and we just say it's a dragon? I mean, I'm down. Do you think they'd believe it? Or would people be like, this is a goose? Who's they? Our audience. No, I don't think they would. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think we don't leave this part in? They might believe it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh. <laughs> Dude, that's what we need to do. We need to do a video once where it's like a hundred days in a world full of dragons and it's just gooses. What do you call an old goose? A geeser? No one's ever said that before. I feel I've never like. heard that. It's actually a pretty but, good joke, dude. Well, I feel like it's the one that if you ask, they will get it almost every time. I like the word geezer. I'd like to be a geezer. I will be a geezer one day. You don't know that. If all goes well, I'm a geezer. Dude, there's a boar here. It's a shiny boar. Wow. A shiny boar. <gasps> Whoa, I actually got its head. Neat. Mickey Mouse, stop hitting on anime women. Oh boy! Did you forget about Minnie? <laughs> I don't know if that goes in, but I actually really like it. <laughs> it's a pretty funny line. <laughs> Nick the jungle despises me. Adrian, I will defeat that spider for you. And now I shall finish what he started. Please don't. There's another pack, Jordan, of the dragon fruit drakes. <gasps> Dude, baby! Actual baby! Dude, that thing blends in so well! Okay, um, oh, oh. How do we get to- wait. Don't let the the thing, don't let the plant kill it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, oh, oh, I'm gonna die. I have to flee. Oh, oh I'm trapped. Okay, Dude. Jordan, its yeah. parents just uh, may have, well, Jordan, we're the new, I'm, I'm the new parent probably to this dragon fruit Drake. I just give it apples, right? Do I, do I drop the apples? I think he's traumatized. Nick, Papa's chasing me. That's okay. Um, the baby's starting to chase you too, but he doesn't want apples. I thought all I did was give him apples. You do. You give him apples. Eat the apples. Oh wait, it worked that time. Um, I'm pretty sure he's my pet now, Jordan. Yeah, I can choose what he does. So if I go back home, which I'm about to do, he should teleport with. Hey buddy. Yep, he is here, Jordan. Red he is officially dude. here. Oh, I just grabbed an apple from him accidentally. What's up? Look at him. Is he not kind of adorable? His name is Kiwi. Oh, dude, his noise is really funny. He goes, Rrr. he sounds like a Luigi's Mansion ghost. <laughs> <laughs> With our new friend Kiwi safe at home, it's time to make homes for our roost stalkers and overworld drakes. For the roost stalkers, Jordan, what kind of pen should we have for them? They're used to open areas. I feel like, dude, we almost want to make almost like a Pokemon ranch. Like a barn? Ooh, that's a pretty good idea. But then what do we want to put the overworld drakes in? A barn? Every dragon gets a barn. You get a barn. You get a barn. You get a barn. No. Overworld drakes, I think, actually should have a barn. Yeah. Maybe the Roostalkers get... I feel like they could use, like, an ant colony. <laughs> You want, you want to make them like a fancy looking dirt home? Nick knows me quite well, so yes. Yes, that's exactly what I want to do. So we just get to work on our respective builds. Whilst collecting our building materials, we chat more about our designs. We're, we're gonna have a garage for each of our overworld drakes. There are cars. I'm for this. Nick was crushed by a- f Okay, the tree never fell. Whoa! My overworld drake already grew up. Dragon fruit, dragon fruit Drake. What did I say? Kiwi already grew up. Wow, that's insane. Overworld Drake, it's your time! I'm a lawnmower! 
Look at him go. That, that, now that is something special. Are you seeing what I'm seeing with my eyes? Whoa. Boom, boom. That is a thing right boom. there, man, if I've ever seen one. Look at the speed. This is kind of scary, John. What technology of dragons can do. <laughs> also, I'm scared of what you're doing right now. Dude, you're like a terrible lawnmower salesman. You're like, look at the speed of this baby. Yeah, I don't know. This this ain't your granddad's lawnmower. <laughs> it's so slow. After that exhilarating addition to our lives, it's back to business. Wait, Trin, there's still more pillagers on the side of the pillage village that we didn't go to. Wait, let me harvest apples off of them. That's hilarious. Totally forgot mud existed. I can use mud. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to use mud, but, but I'm gonna use mud. No, why, why is a pillager here at the ranch? I don't know if what I built is good, but it's for sure somewhat unique. That's what you like to hear. I need one more oak log. Do you have one oak log? I legitimately don't. I just used them all. I have one oak log in my backpack. <laughs> wow. base construction seriously. But by day 33, we're working on our final adjustments before ushering our dragons into their new homes the next day. Do you have flowers? Uh, well, probably some. Can you help decorate where I have flowers? Jordan, are you ready to show me the Roostalker home? Yep, man. First, you head on towards the farm past our home right over to the Roostalker's humble abode, the Muddy Mansion. Check this out, man. Honestly, I dig it. Not too bad, man. Not too shabby, I don't think, right? It's not too shabby at all. It's kind of like an arena, but I... I like what you did with the roof, how it's not just glass, but you know, they have plenty of lighting. Larry over here seems to enjoy it. It feels kind of like a Pokemon arena, not gonna lie. A little bit, not gonna lie. What I like, dude, is that, and I'm pretty sure this will work. We can't use them, dude, but if you look on the left and right of the base, there are secret entrances, which a Roostalker could probably crawl in from, yeah? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they could, yeah. <laughs> and dude, uh, what I also worked on was I, of course, expanded the farm, dude, and I'll add a sign later, but I've also extended the path all the way over to a sugar cane farm supply. <laughs> Anyways, Jordan, <laughs> what what is this? Oh, that's where I got the dirt from. It's right next to my mine. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Have you looked at my mine recently, by the way? It's it's kind of like majestic. It's sort of awe inspiring to peek at because I'm gonna keep going until I hit bedrock and then it'll look even cooler. <laughs> okay, you maniac. <laughs> well, let's head on over to the ranch of overworld drake okay so jordan here it is it's it's got a two-car garage and kind of a homely nice. house which is what you want right we can rest in here if we want to we can't have guests over you totally stole my design dude i didn't look at it you stole my design <laughs> i don't know true. who did it first that's true neither of us looked at each other that's, really <laughs> that's the best that's part weird. of that building there as well but jordan Right here, we've got Buddy over here. So my overworld Drake is right here. I think he's happy. I think he likes it. And he's got his brother slash neighbor over here. Jordan, you're a rascal. rascal here. Dude, no, I think that this turned out fantastic. I'm super proud of you. And now, dude, all we have to do is technically, for the current dragons we have, all that's left is one for Kiwi. The jungle dragon. However, before we craft Kiwi's home, we want another dragon. That way we can each work on a build at the same time. One for Kiwi and one for a coin dragon. Funny, a Mesa would be like a guaranteed way to get a coin dragon, so maybe we find a mesa. Coin dragons spawn randomly in chests, so instead of just hoping we can find a dungeon, we trek onwards to a mesa, which could be home to a substantial mine filled with the chests we seek. Durant's gonna be really awkward if we took all this time to find the mesa and there aren't any mine shafts, you know what I mean? Also, golden carrots are amazing and I love them. Well, Durant, I don't think the coin dragons are spawning in the, these chests. You, you know nothing about the world 
with coin dragons next. Okay. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think that we should carry on past this town and see if we can find a mine. Mine shaft spotted, Jordan. I'm going down here. You go on somewhere else. I'll go this way. Okay, never mind. I finished going down there. Yeah, me too. Hey, wait, this way. Wait, dude, does yours end like half a second later? Yeah. I found just a straight up ravine, but it's a really cool ravine because it's in a mountain, but it doesn't like break through the top of the mountain. That's so cool. So uh, this Mesa, Jordan, lots of coin dragons, right? Yeah. Oh, just, I can't stop finding them. What is this that I just found? What, what is this? Brimstone? Since when has this been a thing? I found diamonds. <laughs> wow, double ravine, more diamonds. Multiple more veins of diamonds. Maybe the coin dragons will burst out of the diamonds. Okay, it was two sets of one diamond. That's lame. What's this sapphire looking doohickey? It's a blue geode. This geode is sick. It has a plethora of uses, including crafting into essentially a Pokeball to transport our dragons around. It'll be a while before we do that though. I just want to find a silly little coin dragon. A dragon. <laughs> I found one! I found one! I found one! I found Wait, one! You really? walked like right by it, by the way. How's your little buddy look? Okay, look, look at him. Look at him. Hey look how cute he is. He's amazing. It's a cool but Hey, we got yeah, one. Yeah, you know, I think this was the right play, even no, though yeah, yeah. we struggled significantly. Hey, if you want to teleport to me, I'm kind of in a chain of them. I'm in the exact same chain if you look a little bit to your left. Okay, well, cool, Jordan. Keep up the good work, okay? Yeah, I, yeah. You sound angry. Not sure how you mistake complete indifference for anger, but you do you. Someone run a room in their diaper. <laughs> Whoa, what a weird insult. That's a good one though. I don't even know why. That's, I am that's a really you. good one and I'm using that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone ran out of room in their diaper. I don't know why I said that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Ooh, I found a dungeon. Wow, this one, it's still just going straight wow. down. Wow. Why is it still go just going straight down? Okay, there we go. Here it is. Here's the dungeon. I don't think we'll find a cave dragon here, but hey, we can at least find stuff like wood. Hey, Jordan, this is definitely where we can find some very good loot. <laughs> Ah! Oh, stop it. Stop that. Uh-uh. How did I get withered from a mile away? This might be what we were looking for this entire time in this dungeon. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Mission success. Next up, we head home to get set to build homes for Kiwi the Fruit Dragon and our newest buddy, the Coin Dragon. Okay, I found another pillager from the <laughs> pillager town. Is this the last one? <coughs> so I still need a dark block, <coughs> but I... Yeah. Nick's puppy clearly has opinions on the build. So Nick heads out to get all the necessary blocks while I carefully build a treetop terrace for our fruit-filled dragon. You look like a woman. Yeah, yeah, I look a little like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> what is that that you built over there? Oh, that's the start? I like how I'm it looks on. so far, even yeah, though it's, it's really weird and not at all exactly what I said, and it's not jungle either, but I like it. Oh, do I see lava light? Do I see lava light, finally? The light Please of lava? lava? It's light of one block of lava. That's all you need, though. No. Prior to building, Nick wants to enchant his tools but we need obsidian to craft the enchantment table. And lava is proving trickier to find than usual. It go be nighttime again. I'm still looking for lava drone, which is pitiful. Is this a frog chicken? They're like frog ducks. Can we call them Mr. Ribbits? Yeah, I think that's reasonable. They're a little spooky. I'm digging straight down. Hoping to find a cave. Oh, I found a cave with lava immediately. Okay, nice. Wait, I don't even want to make an enchantment table. I want to make an anvil. My diamond pickaxe now is on breaking three, fortune three, and efficiency three. I bet you think you're so cool. With my pickaxe, yes. My diamond shovel's on breaking one. Get cool. Did, did I one up you? No, but I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Wow, you're really working on this farm even when it's totally unnecessary. Stop breaking them. Stop breaking them. No, I'm going to plant them all evenly. What do you mean even? You're going to make them all grow at the same time? Yeah. You could just wait. You could just wait, you monster. So, you know how you like messing up my stuff? No. It's the perfect spot for, for, for another portal. <laughs> Wait, isn't it too tall? Yeah, exactly. It looks cooler. <laughs> what are you talking about ruining? You made my pit better, dude. <laughs> it's so awkward to get to. <laughs> You're gonna just have to jump down after I leave. Beyond being the funny, Nick actually wants to scavenge the nether to find various building supplies for his coin dragon's home design. Dun, 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 dun. You like my song? Yeah, that was a good one, Nick. I wrote it myself. Did you? I don't believe that for a second. Here, I'll write a new one. Wow. He's really good. Dude, I, f 
Found the roost stalker that still has our lamb chops. Hey, wait, Nick, there's lava right next to our house, by the way. No, there's not. Nick, look where I am. Can I can't me? hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, I need to name Kiwi Kiwi. He's named Kiwi now, officially. Let's go. He's still sleepy. That's reasonable. Me too, man, sometimes. What are you doing underground? Getting some iron and stuff. It scares me that you want iron and stuff for that. Building. Also, it's fun to quarry. You have brain damage. Butterfly, no, look out! Oh no. Oh, oh, it's okay. What should I name my coin dragon? I'm gonna call him Boysenberry. What is a Boysenberry? It's a cross between European Raspberry, Blackberry, and American Dewberry, and Loganberry. What's a Loganberry and a Dewberry? No one cares. <laughs> well, Jordan, I'm bringing Kiwi over, so there better be a nice spot for him to be, okay? Oh yeah, I realize I don't actually know how he's gonna get up there, but welcome, Nicholas, to Kiwi's Treetop Terrace. Wow, that's a nice name. I like it. Yeah, dude. So first off, you got to go through the farm, the field. There's cactuses around. And then right on into the treetop terrace. Here, I'll open the gates for you. <laughs> I don't know if he can climb it. He can't. But that's very nice ladder. Check this bad boy out, man. And look, he's even got notch apples if he wants them. This is very nice. What? When, when do you do... Is that where our gold went to? Is that why I have no golden carrots? <laughs> no, no, I got both of those from the dungeon. And you didn't tell me this and you, I didn't get to, okay. They're for Kiwi, you think that's appropriate, right? Okay, okay. okay. I kept all the regular golden apples for us. Time to get Kiwi up there. Does it involve a trampoline? Do you think if you TP to me, he'll just immediately pop up? Woo, he looks really good up here, dude. Look at that. Yeah, look at him, he's just chilling. <laughs> Oh yeah, that, that's his terrace for sure. He owns it, he looks happy, dude. Well, let's go check on Boysenberry, my coin dragon, okay, Jordan? Which I wanna go ahead and say that I wanna get another coin dragon and he'll yeah, also man. live up there, okay? And his name can be another type of berry. Well, here it is, Jordan. I thought it made sense to have the coin dragon who lives in chests, well, to live in a big chest. <laughs> so it's a life-size chest, Jordan, okay? Nice, I like. So yeah, you come in here, and here he is. <laughs> Look how happy he is. Oh, he's doing a backflip, dude. He's surfing on that coin. Because the thing is, he works like an item. You can't let him just stay here or he'll just end up, I think, teleporting me. Or maybe he'll just hang out. I'm not sure, but uh, hey, give him back. Give him back. Oh, I, he hopped in my inventory. I didn't actually click anything. But I figure we'll put him here and then we'll give him a friend to have next to him as well. And if we ever need him or want him for anything, we'll take him out. Rock and roll, man. Are you wanting to show off your quarry or are you wanting to do more to it first? Sure, yeah, let's check it out. My favorite part of this quarry is the nether portal. Jordan, you know what we need to do? What? We need to make this nether portal go all the way down. Yes, actually, that would be sick <laughs> of it. This is where it's at so far. Okay, well, goodbye. All right, see you, dude. I'll have to get a lot more obsidian. <laughs> But it's time for us to look for another dragon drone, okay? Oh, hey, wait, dude. Hey, wait, I have to show you something. What are you, oh, the lava. You're trying to show me lava? Is that all you're trying to do? Look at this, Nick. It's lava. That's one block of lava, Jordan. Pretty sure there's like 20. Jordan, the last pillager. The last pillager. This one has to be the last one now, all right? All right, well, now I suppose, Nick, it's time to be off. First off, to get a bunch of obsidian, but then also our next dragon dude is probably gonna be a biggin. Alpine? That's what I'm thinking, buddy. To tame an alpine drake, we must first secure a honeybee. So I make a couple of leads, hand them to Nick, then we head off in search of a buzzy buddy. I found more pillagers. But pillagers aren't dragons, Nick. Whose side are you on? W what does that mean? I'm, I'm attacking them. Oh, good. Actually, did they just both take down each other? They took down each other. That's hilarious. Politics, am I right? I'm laughing so hard right now. I am lolling right now. I'm rolling on the floor laughing. I don't know if an alpine dragon would want to eat this bee though. Not gonna lie. Oh, <laughs> he really doesn't like you. <laughs> I think this bee wants to eat me. Does that count as finding a bee first? Did I win? Oh, hey, I found a bee. Nick, I found a bee. Found a bee. Here it is. Yeah, and look at beehive, dude. Oh, it's awesome. Ba -ba -ba -ba. 
Why'd I do that? Why did you do that? Now we must find an alpine dragon and feed him this delicious bee. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, that's that's what we needed the bee for. Ha ha ha. No, they, oh dude, there, there's a, a family. They're screeching. So I'm a little worried to approach. They're screeching. <laughs> oh, they look sick. Well, we've got a bee for him. Um, does anything else dude. special have to happen? Dude, I will look it up. Give me a second. I should have done Ooh. this before. Right. Oh, the dark colored one's so cool looking. Okay, sometimes they need multiple bees, which if they do, that will be a travesty. Wait, the bee has to be pollinated? The bee is pollinated. Oh, good, 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 good. I didn't even notice that it was. Okay, I'm bringing him over right okay. now. You said they might it, need multiple bees. I they sure might, hope not. but it tends to work on round he's one. He's eating it. Okay. Yeah, he's, he's eating, eating it. it. Dude, it worked! Did yes, it work? Dude. I didn't see the hearts. <gasps> I saw the hearts on my side. I can fly. Wait, what is this over here? Oh, I can do a lot of stuff. Uh, Nick, there's dragon meat on the ground, by the way. Um, Maybe there once were... Three alpine dragons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jordan, take this. Does it not affect Wait, me? that dragon did it to me first, okay? I might be missing. It doesn't affect me. Oh, oh it, it affects me! me. <laughs> it very much affects me! <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I did not know it could do something <laughs> like that. That's amazing. Before bringing our new aerial alpine assistant home, I tried to find a bee in the area to tame my own dragon. Unfortunately, finding another bee proves more difficult than expected. What if I feed him a badger? Isn't that more impressive? It is a little bit more impressive. We actually have an easier time finding more alpine dragons before returning home. Oh, I found a new alpine dragon. It's a... Com Dude, it's a completely white one, which would be kind of cool in contrast to mine, you know? What's happening to it? I think it's transcending reality itself. Nick, I might be doomed to not have one of those. Yeah, are you okay with not having one? Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't care. Hey, wait, maybe we can breed. No, you need two. <laughs> <laughs> Through the power of mitosis. Mitosis, the powerhouse of the mitochondria. Not my toast is covered by socks. I hate you, and I don't like it, and that's not that's going That's pretty in. good, though. That was a good one. you're cringe, and I hate you. For whatever reason, the alpine dragon won't teleport with us, so Nick rides the valiant beast across the land to return home. Oh, I found a butterfly leviathan, by the way. Wait, really? What? Coordinates really? here on screen. We'll go back to that later. I'm crossing the ocean right now. I found another one. Jordan, I'm kind of terrified that it's going to take down me and my alpine dragon, who I've yet to name. I am almost home, brother. I'm gonna name him... Geronimo. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, he's yelling Geronimo. Now that Geronimo's squared away, we set our sights on a canary wyvern, a cute but poisonous swamp dragon. To tame one, we head to a taiga to find his favorite snack, sweet berries. Well, Jordan, I have 56 berries. I think that's probably enough. With food collected, it's time to scan swamps for six skelly bird beasts. And that task takes us far from home. Spider-Man. Look, Jordan, a butterfly leviathan. Wow, they are less rare than I thought and absolutely terrifying. I can't remember if they're in the trees or on the ground by default. If you approach them, they will fly away. What if they're just flying away? I don't think they are, because you see, I got my eyes open, so I'd see it if they would happen. I'm gonna go run to the restroom. I'll BRB. I don't believe you. <laughs> There's no reason to not believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that you are running from your problems. Oh, I found a canary wyvern. Right as Jordan goes to the bathroom, I find a canary wyvern. This is fantastic. Come here. Come here, canary wyvern. I've got berries for you. I got berries? He coming over here? No. Wait, is he in the mushroom? Please tell me he's in the mushroom. He's in the mushroom. I have berries for you. I'm going to trap it in here, actually. That seems like a very good idea. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -bum, ba -bum, bum 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 Hey, I found one as soon as you left. Wait, really? Yeah, and I have him trapped in a mushroom right now. Oh, and now I'm trapped in a mushroom. <laughs> now I'm trapped in a mushroom. Well, this guy's kind of doing nothing, so are you telling me I have to let him out of the mushroom? I let him out of the mushroom. I let him out of the mushroom. Help me track him. Help me track him. Where'd he go? I don't know. I need your help. He was on top of this tree, and then I didn't see where he went. Oh, here he is. He was on top of the tree. Well, we lost him again. They fly absurdly far whilst escaping high into the sky, but we carry on until we find a family of canary wyverns. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. There are two of them. I'm gonna hunt the one on the right. You hunt the one on the left. Oh, there's also one straight ahead. Wait, no, I'm going after the green one. You go after the blue one. The blue one's ahead of me and to the right. These are some slippery wyverns, dude. I know they are. Eat my berries. You didn't get hit by the tree but I am chasing him still. That is so hard to track, dude. Oh, here's one. Okay, I found one. He's flying towards the ocean again. Bo -bo -bo 
Oh, oh, oh! Hey, Wait, hey. Jordan, it just, it just got tamed. Dude! It just ran at my head and I tamed this it. This is absurd! It, it, it flew the entire way home. Home? We went far- That was dumb. Bro, that was the dumbest. I did not enjoy taming this dragon, Jordan. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, no, I, like, genuinely my least favorite one. That's absurd. That is luck-based and <laughs> Also, it took one berry from me. What? Really? That's absurd. I'm not getting one. So, Jordan, I want to go ahead and build the enclosures for both the Canary Drake, which, uh, or the Canary Wyvern, who I need to name, and the Alpine Dragon. Come over here, though. You want to see my new addition to my mind? Do I? Yeah. What does the Canary Wyvern even do? Oh, they occasionally shed feathers. Wow! That's it? Yep, yep. I'm going to make him a big bird cage. Do it, but first, you want to come check out my mine? I'm over here at your mine. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, I'm at your quarry. Where's your mine? What have you done, Jordan, to my ranch? Check this out, dude. Okay. Now we okay. have a convenient way first off to get down into the ravine and even more one second it's very convenient then an even more convenient way here you go down first i'm trying nothing about this is convenient super duper convenient way to get down to get to the bottom of my mind dude you mean you cory that's it why did you show me this isn't it awesome you're tilting me <laughs> look at your cute little bird following you around after showcasing my mining masterpiece nick tasks me with creating a home for geronimo the alpine dragon while he makes a bird cage for his canary you should build him a mountain throne it's a mountain with a throne on top yeah okay i'll try wait is this an endless array <laughs> of golden bars so you've begun your build right yeah mm, those lily pads okay Well, let's see how many golden carrots we can create. Because this could be enough food for the rest of this series. <laughs> I've got over three stacks of golden carrots now, Jordan. Clean up my build on day 66 before we show them off tomorrow morning. Hey, Nick. What? Can you tell it's my side? No, I, I keep forgetting what bed it is. Just let me have this. Can I do anything? Oh, I got it. I got it. That's my bed. I hate it. What, what do you mean you hate it? I'll fix it by the end of today, okay? Okay. You're also- Dude, this entire chicken pit next to your bed. Are you kidding me? I can't hear chickens. I'm immune to their cries. You've complained about hearing them more than once! Speaking of chickens, Jordan, or at least birds, I've got a bird cage here for the canary wyvern, which I think I'm going to be naming him Connor. Regardless, this is the canary cage, I guess by- named by Jordan, but built by me. Maybe not my yeah. finest work, but- Dude, he's dropping feathers everywhere. This is insane. <laughs> wow, actually, that's seven feathers. That's not bad. We have a feather farm now. Yeah, you keep it up. We'll, we'll get you a friend at some point, I think. Uh, no, there's no way you're getting a friend unless he flies in here on his own. <laughs> that's true. They're, these canary <laughs> wyverns are so hard to get. Dude, and all they do so is hard. give us feathers. So, you yeah, know. Thank you, canary wyvern. Anyways, Jordan, let's check out what you built for my alpine dragon, Geronimo. I made him a mega mountain mansion for Geronimo. Geronimo. First off, dude, you can't just get to it like any normal place. You gotta wander in through the hall of the mountain. You gotta walk upstairs. Oh, no yeah. other place has something like that. Nah, stairs aren't real. Check this out. It actually looks pretty rad with him sitting on it, dude. You He's know got I mean? his throne. Oh, yeah, dude. Where he can look down on everyone. <laughs> Except for your dragon fruit Drake, who I made slightly taller than this. Yeah, but they're too far away. They're not in eyesight. <laughs> his tail goes out way past here. <laughs> Dude, I was wondering what that was. I'm like, wait a minute, is there another one? <laughs> well, next up on the agenda, dude, our dragon of choice will be the silver glider, which is more of a seagull than a dragon, but don't mind me. All we need is fish and to find it. And we've already found one. We have the coordinates, so we'll head on over there. I found two. They're right here, dude. There's one to the right, one dead ahead. One's green, one's like, I can't tell. But, but Rush, they're flying away as we speak. Oh, where's the one that's dead ahead? Yeah, I lost him. Sorry. It's over here to the right. Oh, wait, no, I see one in the sky. It's the canary wyvern all over again. It is actually. Come here, fishy. I mean, birdie. You mean dragon? Don't insult him. It's more birdie than fishy. I mean, than dragony. I don't believe you. 
Come here, little wormy. I think it may have been returning to roost. I'm gonna go stand at that spot for a second. You're just saying words that are in the name of the mod. No, <laughs> no. Come here, worm. Who's going to roost? So we kind of called an audible. Pretty difficult to capture a silver glider. So we're gonna look for a desert worm. Wahoo! Which is just as cool. Even, well, actually, I think it's cooler. And way easier. Well, I don't know about that yet. This is a cool village. <laughs> Why would you make fun of me saying that? It is. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. What, what is, Jordan, what is this house? Like, it looks cool, doesn't it? It looks nice. Yeah. <laughs> this is it. <laughs> this what? is the house. What? It's even worse than a house I would make. This is not a house. I'm gonna look up how to lure a worm. Hey, Nick, I found a worm. What? Oh, it is one. This is one of the small ones. We, we wanted to run into one of the big ones, but for the small ones, I got him, Jordan. I got him. Lesser desert worm. Look at him go. Now, because it's going to be asked, I'm fairly certain that the greater desert worm has not been added. So the greater desert worm may or may not ever exist, but it's a cool idea. I might just put him next to my coin dragon to keep him company. Put him next to boysenberry. They won't eat him, will they? Yeah, the, the, you gotta understand, the main use of these lesser desert worms is to cook and eat them. <laughs> That's true, but I'm gonna grab a few and then we can make a pit and we can surround a perimeter with it. And if anyone tried to break into our house, they would get a face full of worms. You want a desert worm moat? Yeah. Let's not. All right, so do we want to put him in our house? What? No, I need company for my coin dragon. What's his name, Dingleberry? Boysenberry. Look, they look like friends. <laughs> <laughs> he's kind of cute. Let's see where they go. Well, he's going upstairs. Wait a minute. Dude, I'm okay just let him live here, <laughs> except for the fact that they'll definitely fall off and die, except maybe they won't. Let's see what happens. We'll come back in a little while and see if any of them have survived. <laughs> Dude, Rascal and Buddy look so happy. I need a lot more barrels. But we need to get all the dragons first, Jordan, and we have currently three more to get only. Although there are only three, they are the most difficult yet, which is why we've saved them for last. And then, Jordan, we might try to defeat the Ender Dragon with dragons. Wait, can we just tame it? Uh-uh. It's like Mewtwo. So I double checked, man, and the silver gliders spawn near the sea or in forest, but I've never found one in a forest, so I'm just near the sea. Look what I, I need you to TP and see what I found. I found an island. <laughs> an island Drake. Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, you're unhappy, aren't you? Uh, you do you. I'm gonna continue sailing. <laughs> All right, keep your eyes peeled, dude, for a silver glider and for the monsters. I'm gonna close my eyes. <laughs> hey, it's actually aggro on us, so you better get running, dude. Oh, here's the desert that I had found previously. Oh, nice. See ya. Later. I like how these these worms just stick their mouths way open, and if a rabbit walks over, they just they just munch on it. Or if any animal walks over, they just munch on it. It's great. Hey, I found two silver gliders. Um, I'll tell you when you can TP to me, okay? Because I was kind of close to lava. <laughs> Oh, no. You know, I only said that so that I could get you closer to lava, <laughs> but then you actually were in. Here's what I think we do. So it's if they see us, dude, they fly away. So, no, no, they're looking at us. I'm gonna go like under the water, dude, and just, what? It's okay, the other one's sleeping. I'm gonna go deep underwater and maybe they won't notice. I'm not even gonna approach yet. I know there are two, but I don't wanna screw anything up. So they're not they're not going away yet, are they? No, they're still there. I, I've got your bird's eye view. <laughs> Get ready to spam fish. I'm just gonna walk up slowly. Try to tame them both if you can. Oh, oh wait, they're... is he oh, coming oh, to me? No, he's no. coming to me. Oh, what? Really? And he's just eating <gasps> fish from me. He's tame. Yo, okay, I'm gonna come over via the water. I'm gonna too. go up to the other one. Hey, wait, wait, I'm gonna try to get this one. Give me a second. Oh, but this one's what? coming up to me right now. Wait, but I would Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting. Hello, friend. Come Let here. him go to you. Let him go to you. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm just standing. Will he just walk to me? Hello. Hello, friend. He's going to... No, 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 no. No, no, please. Please, I have fish. Please. Please, please come back. I have fish. Please. No. Well, Jordan. No. Sometimes that's life. So you said I can glide with... Oh, I can. These are just a elytra, aren't they? Well, Jordan, we could have had two silver gliders, but instead we've got one. No. I'm gliding. Can I ride in the boat with him on my head? I can, that's amazing. Hey there, Kiwi. How you doing? You doing well? That's good to hear. Woo! The next morning we get ready to build our glider a home together this time. Let's just make him a cloud in the sky. I like it. Putting them together can be a challenge sometimes because we each think the other is a goofball. Marble? If it's marble, no. no. <laughs> what do you mean? It's like, it's very cloud-like. It's. Marble is what you make. What? What? Does it not look like clouds to you? It looks like clouds to me. Check this out, man. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cloudy. I'm good to go with it. Yay! How am I ever going to get him to land on this? 
Wait, he just landed on it. Hey, -o. I'm not kidding. He just landed on it. I was going to make it a lot fancier than this, but like the chances that this happens again, kind of low. So Jordan, do you want do you want to check out his little home that looks like a rock when you look up? <laughs> this is where you go. You go up here, close the door behind you, and you can pay respects to Boysenberry and this worm, even though they're not dead. What do you want to name the worm? I don't want to. Oh, hey, I see. And you make this jump. You don't fail it. Whew. And then you glide off with them. Or if you don't have one, you can land in the water. Oh, that's my water. My, <laughs> my water bucket bugged out. That's what works. That's what works. That's what I'm saying, Jordan. So now yeah, it's time for us to get the Royal Red and the Butterfly Leviathan. I think we might want to go and try getting the Butterfly Leviathan just because I we know where to get those. And the Royal Red is, I think, the most rare dragon in the entirety of this game. All right. So you got to lure it onto land while it is raining. Then once beach they must use their lightning attack and then we can feed it raw meat we keep doing that until it's tamed has it even rained once yet nope mm -hmm. do you want to be fraudulent we might need to be fraudulent oh yeah i was gonna use these blue geodes wasn't i four around it and i have the dragon soul crystal i don't know what this does <laughs> okay it allows you to easily store and transport tamed dragons really a pokeball okay cool i just crafted a pokeball yeah it's cool and then boom he's back okay i've got him in there armed with a sick tech we can bring a dragon easily with us to tame a leviathan all we need now is meat wait during there's a silver glider just hanging out above us wait is this the one from before this the first one? wait wait i have fish come back little buddy hey the silver glider drone right here it landed <gasps> just shift walk up to it shift walk with the fish and then let it come to you let it come to you Please? Yes? It's all right! Let it come to you. And then right click on it. You missed your chance. What? what? What do you mean? I was spamming the button! I was spamming the button! I was spamming the button! Mm, stupid Jordan, bird! You know, maybe, maybe it's stupid not the bird's fault. Bird. It's also not a bird. Speaking of birds... Why aren't we using the chicken pit? Whoever finds the Leviathan first wins unless you cheat. Uh, what do we win? You get to see the Leviathan first. Oh man. High stakes. Back up. Yeah, let me take off my headphones lay down with them on the floor for a moment. Found it. Found a Leviathan. I found a Leviathan! Pog, I'll be there in two minutes. Okay, so you're gonna be the bait, okay? We're gonna bring you to the island over there. Okay, maybe you don't have to be the bait. Nah, you should get out, Jordan. Uh, it's growling at me. Hello, yeah, go say friend. hi to it. <laughs> yeah, this is good. Get back in the boat, Jordan. Get back in the boat. Get back in the boat. <laughs> boat! Drive, fool! Why is it so fast? I think that that's a dumb question. <laughs> it's like in the water, dude. Ah! Oh, it's hitting you with lightning even, dude. Why would it want to do that? I'm a chill dude. I mean, if I could do that, I would do that too. That's true. Come here, little buddy. Okay, maybe it'll just start raining now, right? What are the chances? It's beached right now. I want to see if it actually starts raining. Otherwise, I have a secret code that makes it start raining. Wait, how do you do it? Weather, space. Whoa, whoa, it did work. I knew that Mojang wouldn't lie to me. Oh, wow, the cheat code worked. So does he need to get hit by like lightning now? He's kind of chill. I remember what he does. He's going to call a massive blast of lightning down. He gets tired from it and that's our window to feed him. Maybe you can't make him do it, but it's kind of cool where he is right now. It's kind of sick. He's like, dude, he's like a walrus. <laughs> Yeah. He's getting closer to me. He wouldn't bite me now, would he? Ah! Let's get him back in the water more. Here, I'll push him. Come on, buddy. So now he should lightning us. They oh, he it. actually is doing it. Okay, there might be a window here to feed him. Oh, I fed him some. I fed him one. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I tamed him. No, I don't think you tamed him. I don't. <laughs> takes a big old bite out of both of us. I don't think we tamed him. <laughs> I like your dog barking in the background. I didn't, you didn't tame me either. Hey. Hi, you. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I can move this behemoth just by bonking him a little bit. Come on. Don't talk there to we me go. or my brother ever again. Hey, wait. He's in the show. <laughs> Maybe we should reason with him. Hey, buddy. Uh, I think that you may have a move that could reach him from where you're standing. Ow, who shot me? Was that you? I think it was him. He had a move to reach you. He had, it was arrow related. He's not, wait, what if we stand further away? Does that actually work? Maybe he'll want to electric. Hey, he did it, I, he did it. Maybe that's all it was. I remember trying oh, hey. that before. I think I missed the timer though. Wouldn't a lightning attack be devastating? Oh, he did it, he did it, he did it, he did it. So obviously us running away, he's doing it again, he's doing it again. I fed him one, you can feed him one per thing. Okay, there's the lightning. There we go, dude. I fed him one again. Why is he not using lightning anymore? Oh, there he is. Oh, I used 
I tamed him. I tamed him. I tamed him. I tamed him. Did you actually? Did you actually? Did you actually? I tamed him, Jordan. Yo, dude. Wait, can I ride too? I want to ride too. I can bite you. I can. Where's my lightning? Let's see that from one first person. Oh, this is so sick, dude. Whoa! Yeah, man! This is very sick, dude. Wait, I can't believe you can also ride on it. Oh, dude, the sun comes up as we dive! Hello there, this whale. This is so sick, dude. I guess I need to swim home now. I guess, man. We're not that far away at all. <laughs> Especially not at these speeds, dude. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do, Jordan. Okay. Hey, wait, if I'm on him, will I go into the Pokeball with him? Let's try it. No, you don't. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Good stuff, buddy. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ya. I'm gonna get ya. Boom! I ate the creeper. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> With mission success, it's time to build a home for our new friendly Leviathan. What do you think about this over here? Because I think I'm almost done. No, he's not living in here. Jordan, I found what we must do. You see that? Oh, that was great. You see, Jordan, I guess it's not how extravagant the build is. It sometimes is how simplistically beautiful it is. Why is there another chicken pit here? I made that for our restockers. <laughs> so many chicken pits, dude. You know what's a combination? Not not too many people use it, but I think it always looks fabulous is polished diorite and polished granite. Dude, I don't think granite's in this game. Jordan, come on. <laughs> I haven't found any yet. Oh, that's what you mean. Well, I mean, it's vanilla Minecraft, so uh... Now we begin an unacceptably long supply acquisition expedition to find various special stones and oddities like squid ink so we can build something special. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. What can I say except- I'm gonna kill this frog. Maybe it'll have- What can I say except that I'm going to kill this frog? What? <laughs> okay, if there's not diorite here, by the way, that's insane. Coin dragon. Got a coin dragon, Jordan. Are you telling me that we can't find diorite here in this insane cavern? Kind of redonkulous that we haven't found it. And I don't use redonkulous lightly. <gasps> I found lime- Limestone. Wow, Jordan. Nice limestone find. Well, I continue to look for various stones and Nick is finally able to start construction. My name is Harold. Harold the Butterfly Leviathan? <laughs> It's so bad. Harold the Watermelon Leviathan. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we're calling him. That's it, that's perfect. Dude, are all of our dudes Dudes. Do we name them all dude names inadvertently? They're all dudes. What do you mean inadvertently? <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I don't. I don't feel like we. <laughs> I don't feel like we built a home that fits Harold. <laughs> what are you talking about? Nor did I name Harold a name that fits Harold. But uh. <laughs> what are you talking you mean Harold the Watermelon Leviathan doesn't work? Are you joking? What planet are you from? This is amazing. I'm just, I'm just gonna go ahead and show it off. So this here is, is what we built for Harold, who's now known as the Watermelon Leviathan. We built him a nice little watermelon pole here. I'll, I'll give you a better shot of it here. Uh, get in here, Harold. I mean, I, I think this is nice, Jordan. I just... I don't know if we, uh, I feel like we should have made it deeper or larger or uh, maybe not watermelon things. <laughs> right, a, lot of, a lot of things to think about now that you're done. <laughs> no regrets. He loves it. Hey, also, that build, man, is Minecraft approved. It was from Minecraft, right? That was Minecraft approved. That was from Minecraft, kind of, partially. Ooh, ooh, I found it. I'm teleporting to you. Ah, it hit me from there. Did it really? Oh. Okay, you kill them, I'm going to flee. I don't even know if it's worth taking them down. I don't think it is, because we only get a little dagger if we kill them. Yeah. And I only kill things if I get a big dagger. So a sword. Hey, it's a little peewee glider. Can I give you fish? Of course I can't. <laughs> You will never have a silver glider. <laughs> I thought I couldn't come up with a name, so I called him a peewee glider. <laughs> Yo, this weird dragon thing Jordan's attacking the villagers. Like, actually, it looks so cool. Nick, by the villagers, you mean me, right? Ah, I see. <laughs> 
Oh. Hi, Harold. You weren't supposed to be here. <laughs> With that fiasco finished, we forge onwards to find the ferocious flaming Royal Red. I found a butterfly leviathan. You've been defeated by a goat. <laughs> that You got an achievement for getting defeated by a goat. The achievement says get impaled by an angry goat. A goat? Really? That's kind of pitiful. You're wearing enchanted diamond armor. How is that even possible? I was going for the achievement. We both know you weren't. <laughs> Give love a buy a dime. Oh! Oh, oh, Jordan, I found one, I found one. Teleport, 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 teleport. Oh, wait, I finally found one. I'm not, wait, I'm not, and wait. it does not like llamas. That's not the rare one, is it? It's got some dark on its wing, like some black on its wings. I don't think so. Here, let me look up what the rare one looks like. Is the rare one like completely yeah, black? Yeah, no, it's, it's th this one's closer to like default Charizard, dude. The other one is like, like legit shiny Charizard. Gotcha. Well, where did you just go off to? Okay, dude, so here's how we have to damn it. What we have to do is we have to take it down to a certain low amount of HP. Once we take it down to that point, dude, it will go into a sleep mode. And then once it's in sleep mode, we have to feed it raw you can meat. feed it once it's asleep, yeah. So it's a lot like the Butterfly Leviathan, but I think there's an even less chance. So if we get lucky, man, it's one rotation of well, fighting. it's different and in we, the sense that yeah. you actually have to fight it. Where did it go? Uh, I have not seen it since it was killing the llamas. Dude, come on. We it took us for it. Come on. Don't tell me it just kept flying. I don't even think they're supposed to. They're aggressive. They should be fighting. Oh, it's over here to the left. left, 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 left. Oh, 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 it's in the sky. Okay. Uh, tell me if it starts coming at me. I have no idea why it's glitched like that. Yeah, it's it's struggling. I'm trying to shoot it. I'm actually a little confused about what's happening. Okay, it's moving away now. I'm gonna run on the ground after it. Okay, I missed the water bucket, but the leaves don't kill you apparently. Calm down here. It's gotta land at some point, right? The arrows got deflected. It says it's an aggressive mob that will attack us. This is not what I expected. Yeah, normally it's flying away. What? Oh, it's out of my render distance now. Is there any way that I can taunt it? Hey, man, the silver gliders look more powerful than you. <laughs> I'm hitting it, Jordan. Wait, can I feed it food right now? No, it's just angry at me now. This is the weirdest fight ever, dude. I am just flabbergasted. What is happening? These guys are supposed to be insane bosses. Oh, he finally hit me. Oh, where is he going? Where is he going? Why is he going? Where is he? Right above you. Oh, wow. He's so high up this time. Fight me. Fight him. Fight me. Royal Reds are extremely aggressive. Oh, are they? Wait, where'd he go? So, this guy kind of seems a little cringe to me. Not And he flies away. Please attack my brother. Okay, he's attacking me. That's for sure. Oh, looking good. Looking good. And then... What was that attack? Well, that was aggressive. Hey, finally. Is he... He's actually on the ground. He's actually the, on the ground. Okay, the rain made him angry? Wait. Hey, bud. Oh, he just punched oh, me. Oh, he just punched me. Boom, baby. He just actually punched me, George. Yo. Okay, okay, wait. We can do this, man. He's, he's fighting for it. Is he stuck in the tree? Does the rain ground him? Dude. This is awesome. He's just like... He's just beating me up. He's boxing me. Boom, baby. This, this, I, I, I don't know how I feel Boom. about this, Jordan. Other than I love that animation. I feel much better about My it. My shield broke. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. The only time I really need a shield. We're at least getting hits, Jordan. I also accidentally ate one raw chicken, so. Boom. <laughs> okay, okay. He needs what? Like, I, I don't, oh, okay. You keep him back on you. I will. Stop it. He's like oh, only oh, hitting oh, me oh, now. I killed what? him. Wait, got, oh, okay, I'm feeding the meat. Sleeping. Feed him dummy. Eat the meat. Feed, eat the meat. Feed, feed Why is he not dummy. eating the meat? Do I have to click on a specific spot? I Wait, bet I have to click on a specific spot. Is it because I took him down that I have to? Uh, maybe. Take some. Take some. Take some. Here you go, buddy He's boy. He's dead, right? Wait, did we actually kill him? Come on, man. No. I don't think so. Is he breathing? He's moving. He's breathing. Oh, wait. Is this working? You're eating it. <laughs> here, get him on the ground here. Once it's low enough, it'll enter sleep mode. However, it will only allow you to feed it periodically. So I just can't feed it yet? <laughs> this is the dumbest dragon I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's the stupidest beast. <laughs> hey, wait, Nick. I know what to do. Look, 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 look. Some for me. <laughs> some, some for you. you. <laughs> do we just oh, 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 it's oh. just, we wait, gotta fight wait, it again. Wait, wait. Wait. Wait, you you just tamed it, didn't you? Hello, friend. I saw hearts oh, going. Friend! Nicholas! You tamed it? I'm a giant! I'm on its back! You tamed it. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, congratulations. Hey, hey, can you not? I'm can not you controlling not? Can you it. Don't Wait, you? Nicholas, I don't have a saddle. I can't actually control when it flames. It just flames. Wait, I'm on... I'm... I'm, oh, I'm, hey, buddy. Is he trying to kill me when I'm on his back right now? I, I'm not pressing any button, dude. I'm did you or did you not tame him? Uh, I'm riding him and I can make him jump. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, forest, baby. Uh, All right. Uh, do you have a Pokeball that I can use? Aha. Now I'm the one on top. <laughs> Wait, no, he. Uh, dude. You're not very good at taming dragons. 
Oh, he oh, is your dragon. Oh, Jordan, oh, stop it! Oh, oh, Put the saddle on him! Put the I saddle can't. on him! Nick, a saddle doesn't do anything! Okay, then teleport to me, teleport to me, teleport to me, teleport okay, to me. Okay, okay. Teleport the to me, Jordan. Saddle nothing, dude. Teleport to me! Get him okay, out okay. of the house! Okay. Hey, wait, I made him lay down. I made him lay down, though. Okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't have any menu to put a saddle on. <laughs> Dude, look at this stupid idiot. <laughs> Why did you do this to us? What's, what's your <laughs> Just look at him. He's just a troll, dude. What's your What's your problem? You mad, bro? <laughs> Why are you being so weird, dude? <laughs> <laughs> That's the dumbest thing. <laughs> it looks so proud of himself. He walked back to our house and just kept breathing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Well, I need to fix our house, I guess. Wait, dude, every time he roars, I get strength. Why did you have to be the one who tamed him? Listen, I didn't plan on it. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to hop on him. Okay, stay, stay, stay. <sighs> okay, oh, turn, stay, let's stay, build stay, an enclosure stay. for him. Okay, and then we'll figure out the rest. It's day 89 now. Can we just put him in a Pokeball and call it a day? Ooh, let's make it a massive Pokeball. The next day we plan on how to construct a giant Pokeball and collect the resources necessary. This includes learning how to make concrete, an experience I would describe as neato. And so I've got eight concrete powder and we'll test it out in the morning. Wait, Jordan, has this been the case the entire time? What? Oh. Has this been open to a ravine the entire time? I thought I had put dirt oh. there, but I guess I hadn't, and I kind of love that. <laughs> okay, let's see if it turns to concrete when I put it in the water. I think it does. It does. Noise. Oh, don't forget, Jordan, that we need to get like a billion obsidian to make the nether portal go down the entire way. Take a look at this over here, by the way, buddy. Spider maze cave? When did this materialize? I'll be honest, I don't quite recall when I did this. I did this during, I think we were looking for diorite. So that goes to my quarry. There's darkness imminent over there. It, it, can you call it a maze if you have everything labeled? Yeah, it's spider maze. I'm the one who found it. So then over here, dude, and this is what I'm gonna use to get the obsidian. It's where a bunch of lava is. N nice. Do not lose this pickaxe, okay, nerd? Nick's generosity speeds up my obsidian acquisition in a meaningful way. Then, while I mine, Nick preps more supplies before beginning on the Royal Red's home. Here, I'll push him away. I'm pushing him in the lake. Oh, he's flying now. Wait, he's chill. He's in the tree now. <sighs> So you're hard at work with the obsidian. I'm extending the portal as we speak. Are you going the entire way down? I'm going pretty far. That's the best nether portal ever. <laughs> Don't at me. Well, I'm fighting pillagers thrown on a pirate ship. You can join me if you want. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> really? Hey, are you sure about that? I, I don't have a shield still. You know, I could like die and stuff. You're aware of this, right? Here, catch. You know what? Right. It's better than having you even help, so, you know. By the way, for context, Nick is on the spider ship looking for squid ink so he can dye more concrete for the Pokeball build, since squids seem to be sort of rare in this world. Watch me find diorite. Oh, squid! <laughs> I was going to say, I was find diorite and a uh, royal red before I found it. And it dropped two. Why are you breaking the top? And this is why. <laughs> All right, baby. Are you ready for this next? You've got the flint seal. Yes, sir. So while I've been working on trying to, you know, get the supplies to build the Pokeball over here for Jordan's Royal Red that we have yet to name, Jordan's been working on our nether portal. And I have to say it's looking pretty good. Jordan, light it up. Three, two, one. Wait, can you not do it? Is it too tall? Go get more obsidian. What do you mean? We're gonna add multiple portals. We're gonna split it halfway and see if it works there, okay? That was the most anticlimactic thing I've ever seen. I can't say I'm anything but hyper disappointed in you. Also, you need to name your dragon. Oh, you should call him Red, because he's a royal red and he's going to live in a Pokeball. His name should be Red. I don't think on it. You named like over half my dragons. Name him Red. <laughs> Stop being bad at the game. <laughs> Wait, Jordan, I did it. this worked there. What? Was it not working for you? No, it doesn't work. Now do it. It works. Here is our glorious nether <laughs> portal. Portals, I guess. Oh, what? Did you do that, uh, Red? I actually did look at him first. Wow, that looks great. Ah! You deserve that. <laughs> now that's, that's a good look. That's, this is the best quarry you've ever <laughs> built, Jordan. Hey Jordan, you have a really fun job and it's to continue what I've been doing for a while. So take this, you have to place all of that in water and then mine it back up. Oh, 
Oh, hey, I think I'm actually doing a really good job. Play in the world. We need one, like, special block in the center. What should it be? Gold? <laughs> okay. Actually looks kind of clean. That looks really clean, actually. No, oh, I, I thought I might directly in the portal room. I did not, but I, I am here. Well, find the portal room, Jordan, and then uh, maybe help me get a little bit more red concrete. As Nick finishes Red's home, I'm on a journey to find the end. There's still one dragon we haven't encountered in this world. After the build is complete, we get fully prepped to take on the Ender Dragon. We even make dragon armor because we're not going to be fighting alone. Yo, okay. I'm going to see how you even put it on or if it has a visual effect or not, because I'm not even sure. So I'm going to go and test it out. Well, it's, it's not going on the dragon. Maybe it only goes on Royal Reds. I'm gonna, I'm gonna test my Alpine dragon here. Or no, this is my Silver Glider. Silver Glider, you come back here, you nerd. Larry. No, he just puts it in his mouth. <laughs> no, it doesn't go on Buddy either, Jordan. All right, I'm assuming it's mine. Do you want me to just come back? I'm at the portal now. And it is the dawn of day 100, Jordan. Whew. We need to get your dragon, Jordan, who we have named Red, and we need to get him at the top of his Pokeball, which I will say, I'm very proud of how this turned out, although I will say- I like it. That the lid looks kind of funky and it looks too small, but I swear, if you laid it down, it would fit perfectly, and it's the exact same as the base. It's genuinely the exact same as the base. I'm really hoping he doesn't go berserk as I teleport and blow up your creation. That would be awkward. Okay, Jordan, you can go ahead and teleport to me. Boom, baby. Okay, and sit, 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 yes! He looks amazing <laughs> here. Yo. Oh, he's roaring, dude! That's Woo! what I'm talking about, dude. Hey, man, I have strength. Can I see about. how much damage I do to you? Um. Oh, wait. I no longer have strength. Good, good. You don't have strength. He's not roaring anymore. Okay, Jordan, I have the dragon carrier and the armor for you. I made gold and diamond. I think you just used diamond on him, though. Where's it supposed to go? Let me look it up. I'm so confused, Jordan. I, I don't know what it's supposed to go on, Maybe dude. it just doesn't do anything, and it doesn't work on Geronimo either. Wait, how do you access inventory on a dragon? You need a dragon staff, Nick. That's not real. Yeah, it's real. Wait, there's a dragon staff. It's a red geode and a blaze rod. Are you kidding me? And you can just name them from that menu too, where you haven't needed name tags. And you can set their behavior and stuff too, it looks like. <laughs> ah, you can even set his home position, dude, so they don't... Oh, that's... You know what, Jordan? We've gone this far. We've gone this far. <laughs> We've gone this far. We didn't know. <laughs> didn't realize it. Okay. Who cares, okay? All right, man. I got my dragon in my crystal, dude. So I'm ready to head to the <laughs> end with him to fight. Let's go to the end, Jordan. Let's go to the end. Well, Nick, I saved the final Ender Pearl for you. Ender Eye. Imagine if you threw it in the lava. <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> I was thinking about it. I saved the final one for you, Nick. Three, you ready for this, dude? Two, one. Wait, Jordan, let's jump in at the same time, okay? Three, two, one, go! You didn't jump. Yeah, we've known each other for our entire <laughs> lives. I'm <laughs> in there, Jordan. I'm what going did you through. think, man? Is it raining in here? What? No, but it showed rain. Is it raining Let's in the main? Let's get to the surface, Jordan. Let's get to the surface. Hey, thanks for that pickaxe, by the way, that I never gave back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've got some purple geode, though, Jordan. Whoa, you got purple geode? Yeah. Whoa, is that the shiny version of him? We'll evolve into a shiny graveler. I'm here in this water-based world that's totally water-based to defeat the Ender Dragon. Oh, I forgot about these stupid creeper things. Let's go, Harold. Let's take let's down the Ender go. Dragon. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I, I might put him back in his soul crystal and bring him out to hit the actual dragon later, you know. Uh, but you can actually wreak havoc. Let me handle those. You go hit the dragon. Fire, baby! I got it, Nick! Oh, dude, I actually hit that shot. That was sick. Oh, wait, it's a toggle, so I, I can just kind of fly at him now. That's really nice. It doesn't seem to be hurting him, though, does it? Well, maybe wait until he lands or just be disappointed. Wait, N Nick, he's just attacking on his own. I don't- he's just on his own. I'm not on his back now. Oh, I'm gonna die. He's just angry. Um, there's nothing I can really do, man. Well, I mean, I think that's fine. He's gonna kill me, though. Wait, your dragon's attacking you? No, he's just attacking kind of everything. Well, I mean, I respect Jordan. I think they're trying to roll the end together. Uh-oh. Get into the Pokeball. You need to 
Get I'm up good. there and toggle his fire off so it I'm stops sorry. lagging. I'm sorry. But he is trying to kill the Ender Dragon, which is cool at least. So Jordan, we've determined your dragon is a total menace. Complete menace. So we're gonna use mine once we <laughs> land, okay? And then I'll just send mine out for the victory lap, and that'll be about it. Dude, I lit this fire. That's hilarious. Well, not me, but you know what I mean. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting there, Jordan. Keep him perched. Keep him perched. I'm, I'm biting at his heels. Is it hitting? I don't think it's, I don't think it's working. I'm hitting him, which is great. I'm gonna try one more time. I just need to get closer to the face. I put down water so I could swim. Oh, nice. Oh, this is actually the play. Dude, that's actually the play. That's legit, man. Although it doesn't appear as if I can hit him. Uh, you know, that is a minor issue, I think. Oh, and I'm, I'm about to die. He's oh, about okay. to die. Okay, Harold was getting very low, so... Uh, it looks like you can't take a dragon to do a man's job by attacking a dragon. Uh, it was wordy, but I think I got my point across. It can be a woman's job, too, you know. Ow, yeah. ow, that hurts really You're badly. Going for, I'm going for the neck. I always love how it turns invisible when I do this, but boy, does it work. So, this is the normal infinity bow that I got from the start of the series, by the way. That's awesome. Ah! Uh, Sorry, it, it spit purple grape juice at me. Yeah, no, I saw it. I dodged it. It's almost day 101, and we, we can't do that, Jordan. <laughs> we just changed up the titles game. <laughs> no, Jordan, if you go past 100, you have to go straight to uh, day 200 days, don't you know? What? But then we'll never get a video out. <laughs> hey, Jordan, why don't you shoot him, too? I'm throwing an underpearl at him? You should have hit that. Oh, you've got multiple underpearls <laughs> going. <laughs> hey, Nick. It's been nice knowing you, buddy. I tried my best. Ooh. One more shot, I think? Yes! No, a little low. This is it. I mean, uh, edit that one out. This oh, is it. Oh, uh, what? Oh, wait, he that lived. That is an absurd amount of HP he has. This is there it. There we go. Let's go, dude. dude. I don't think I've ever taken it down Let's with a bow. Go. That's awesome. Well, Jern, we have officially taken down the last dragon we needed to take down in this worm roost survival. And we would have tamed her, except for she was crazy. <laughs> she was nuts. I mean, and red is, I mean, red is maniacal beyond belief. <laughs> wait, Jern, just spam the fire on and off, and he does like a head bob. Or maybe it's the attack. Use his attack. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, dude, look at that. <laughs> dude, that looks so funny. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, you got the punch in there, dude. Yeah, man. Anyways, Jordan, let's jump through the portal <laughs> and go home. It is nighttime in this beautiful world. Wait, did you skip the credits? Yes, I skipped the credits and I do it again. Let's get him back to his home, Jordan, and I'm going <laughs> to get Mr. Harold back to his home. Well, Jordan, this is where we start our humble abode. And I have to say, we built quite a lot. We built a lot, Let's start man. with the uh, the east wing. Is this oh. east? Hey, it's Feels fighting. like it should be. South wing. We're starting with the south wing, Jordan. And Jordan, here we've got boysenberry and unnamed naked mole rat, pretty much. It's boysenberry and dingleberry. <laughs> okay. And then we've got my silver glider up here, which Jordan, for the rest of my tour, silver glider is going to be on my head. And let's check out the Canary Wyvern here, Jordan. Your Canary Wyvern is delightful. Hello there, buddy. How are you doing? Actually, these two probably couldn't get along really well, so I might let them hang out together. Never mind, Silver Glider's coming with me. And also, I think this in particular abode looks even better at night. The mountain mansion for Geronimo. Geronimo's doing well. He's sleepy though and has his head in a rock. So uh let me uh let me fix that real quick. You put your head in the tree, you sleep, and you say one, two, three. Look at him, dude, he's so cute. Look how happy he is too. I'm gonna give you a piece of string to play with and a carrot. Please don't kill me. <laughs> He'll do it. I'm aware. Oh, it's a cute little sleepy roost stalker. Dude, they're so cute when they're sleeping. I want to break the grass it's on, but I don't want to hit it. I, so right? I will. That was my exact thought process. I broke next to it and I couldn't go any further. You can't forget, Nick, about the Overworld Drake Ranch down here, man. One of the it's best the builds. the Overworld Ranch. I like it. Rascal there for you and Buddy here for me. And they're all happy, Jordan. Yeehaw. We have to hurry, dude. The sun is rising on day one. The sun is rising. <laughs> We've got your stupid spider maze that I'm not going to even show <laughs> off. And then we've got the Roost Stalker's humble abode, which, you know, if we did 200 days, we would fill this up with 100. 100 Roost Stalkers. Oh, Nick Bomb! Nick, no! <laughs> it kind of looks... Your failure. It kind of looks like it fits. <laughs> Why did you say Nick no when it was you? Because I thought you could help me. So something very important too, Jordan. Before it is day 101. <laughs> The nether portals of doom. Nicholas, just don't press F3 and they can't prove that we went today. <laughs> I think with the sun coming up. No, no, you don't know what the exact day is. I think with the 
not do me all day. They could see no. it. They could see it, George. This isn't day 101. Harold the watermelon leviathan. He looks so serene there. So serene. <laughs> I like how he's like, this is, this is my life now. This is my home. The ultimate farm of carrots. Mostly, anyway. Dude, it just keeps going and going and going. We did like one harvest dude, of it. Dude, That's all we needed. Look at the cactuses that I added, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I see, I see that, Jordan. And then last but not least, Jordan, Kiwi's Treetop Terrace. Exactly, dude. One of the first dragons I tamed. And one of the first builds that I built. How you doing, Kiwi? Doing well. Good to hear. I'm gonna be honest, my building skills improved heavily for this in particular series. I'm not saying hey, any of this is that great, but it's way better than my normal dirt style. True! Well, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, slam the like button. We'll see you next time on Late Games. That's been a hundred days. Buh. Buh bye bye Wait, why didn't we put kiwi in the watermelon shack?